Hello everybody. Uh, today I would like to cover with you lab number five. If you go to my website at uh, dr-seif.com, you should look at my website and go to teaching tab. And over there you will see that uh, ME 103 and click on the homework and choose lab 5. Under lab 5, here is the part we would like to do for today. As you can see, this is the front view, this is the top view, here is the isometric. The, the view that has the most dimensions is the one, is the top view. So this is automatically, we'll, we'll start from the top view with these circles, like 50, 25, 30, 15, and the distance between them is 120. So let's go to Solid Edge. Now we will open Solid Edge, double click on the icon. Now Solid Edge is opening. We will choose new, new. Now we have a choices between what format you would like to draw. Now, since the, the dimensions we have for this lab are in millimeter, so we will choose, we have two choices. Either we can choose ANSI millimeter or we can use isometric. Uh, I will choose isometric. It doesn't necessarily, both of them should work fine. So I'm going to choose isometric and then choose the part. You see the part here? This is the one I'm going to start with. Say OK. Now if I go to the top view, as I mentioned that in the, the most details are in the top view. So I'm going to go to the top view here in the uh, lower right corner click on top view and as you can see <clears throat> from the uh, the draft uh, the, the, the the figure that we have two circles so i'm gonna go circle by center i'm gonna draw it anywhere i'm gonna just draw two circles and then go again to the center of the circle and draw another circle then i will go in the same center line you see the center line the dashed line it means i am in the same center line and then i can draw a circle and go to the center when you see the circle click again then inside this circle will be another circle now the distance between the center from this circle to this circle should be how much should be 120 120 and now let's zoom fit. Let's zoom. I can move it uh, using the uh, pan command. You see the band command here? Click on the band command, then I can move it any location I want. Okay. So I'm gonna make it in the center of the cloud. Of the, uh, the menu. Let's go to line. Now I need to to draw a line tangent between this the bigger circle and the other bigger circle. So I'm going to choose any point randomly and they're going to move with me. It's going to rotate till I see that I have the two symbols touching the one to the left and tangent, which is the one to the right. Click. This is how, this is what you're going to see now. Right click to get out of the mode and go the same thing. Do the same thing to the other side. Here is the one that's going to move with me. I want to go till I see both them. I'm going to click and down down. Now, I would like first to, to do something which we'll call it, we'll learn it today to do something called offset. Oh, okay. Did we correct the dimensions of the circle? I don't think so. So let's go back to the circle and this should be how much? This should be 50. Let me make sure. my website teaching homo lab 5 
Okay, the bigger are here 50 and 25, 30 and 15, the distance 120. And then I have here some kind of a engrooving. I would like, and the distance all around is about 5 millimeters. You can see the, 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 the radius here is 15. So from here to here is 20. So this means the distance here is 5. So I would like to do this in groove for 5 millimeters. So let's go back to the, uh, the solid edge. So this dimension should be 50. And this dimension should be 25. Enter. This dimension should be 30. And this dimension should be 30, uh, 50. So now we need to do the the uh, what is called the offset. To do the offset, uh, actually I need to identify the contour of the offset. So the contour of the offset should be this half a circle and this line. They have a circle and this line. So to do that, I have to delete half of the circle here and delete the other half. So now I have a closed loop of the shape I would like to offset. So I'm going to click on offset and the amount of offset is going to be 5. So I'm going to put 5 here, the distance, and say enter and then I'm going to click on this contour and I say okay when it's okay give me choice either I want to do it outside or I want to do it inside so I'm going to do it inside so now we did the uh, offset is about five millimeter let me go back to the home bit and start the extrusion let's go back to the extrusion the extrusion we have here the inside part is five millimeter the outside part here is 10 millimeter and the, the, the cylinder here is 15 and the other cylinder is 20 so this height is 20 15 10 and the one inside is, is, is 5 but they are all symmetric so now we're going to choose the extrusion to be symmetric so let's go back here uh, let's get out of the uh, the offset and go to extrude now i'm the extrude command i want to face face is fine and then right click highlight it then right click then it is okay it is symmetric see if it's not symmetric go back here and change it so this is up and down or you click in the symmetric then you have it symmetric and i would like to have this one to be five i'm going to put five and so i'm done with the symmetric scene now notice something very important the uh, this the sketch where we did the extrusion disappeared so now we have to have the sketch again so we can do the second extrusion. so i'm going to go back to the top view and do the offset again click on the offset it is five it will maintain the last dimension five then i'm going to click on the contour here And say okay and then it has to be inside so I'm gonna not outside inside so I'm gonna click again so now I created another offset inside now let's go back to the home and do extrusion when I click on this surface here face so now I have identified the area where it's gonna be extruded again it should be symmetric so right click so it is symmetric and the height should be what 10. I put 10 enter. Now I have this uh, the, the other extrusion for 10 millimeter. Let's go back again to the top and do the circle that we deleted, uh, deleted half of it. So circle by center. And the first one was 50. Enter. And I'm going to go to the center here 
of the circle click on it and automatically do it now the other one will be what this 30 so I'm gonna type 30 here enter and then I'm gonna go to the center of the circle once I see the circle I'm gonna click and now I have the other circle uh, 30 30 okay 25 and let me make sure that the dimension is correct so I, I'm sure it's correct this is 50 correct so let's go back again to the home page and then extrusion I'm gonna click on the surface here right click and then go up how much we we'll go to 15 and the other circle we're we'll gonna put what how much Uh, 20 and so this way I'm done with the drawing and I will save the file as you can see it looks exactly the way it should be as in the thing so now if you want to go just you go back up to the home it will bring you to the same image so we're gonna go to file to here the icon and say you want save as save as and we're gonna save it as a part and this is, should be what lab number five and you save it as a lab number five and you should say okay save okay okay save say yes okay now I will go to the other draft sheet so I go back here to the application button click new new now this is inches yes now all the draft sheets should be done in inches the reason for that is we are using American uh, white paper to print our project so we have to be with the dimension of all the the size of the paper so keep always for the draft to be NC inch so I'm gonna NC inch and then choose the draft the next to the uh, to the left or the first one so I'm gonna click here and say okay this will open another menu another file and before you proceed double click on sheet one you see sheet one here lower left corner uh, button double click here and make sure you have a background tab in the background tab choose size B sheet B then it comes smaller and then go to the fit command you see fit command click on the fit so we can fit the same page now we need to bring the, 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 the draft or the figure the, the drawing to our sheet here so go to the view wizard click on the view wizard the computer will still remember where you save your file last time so we're gonna say I need to get graph lab number five open this looks too big so I'm gonna go to the scale here and make the scale one to one so now it's much better so we're gonna say okay here is the front view here is the top view and here is the side uh, the isometric view before I proceed, so I'm going to right click to get out. I believe two views will be more than enough for our for this lab because of the symmetry. But if you want to add another view, it's up to you. Now I will go to select. I want to select this one. Just I'm going to move it to be in a very nice balanced way in the display. So maybe a little bit. Okay. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to move it here. You see here only this one is highlighted go back to the shading or the shading option I would like to have it like a gray lay shaded with edges so I, I prefer this one this is my prefer again you are more than welcome to choose whatever you prefer so I'm gonna click on the shade and right click on the object itself and say update update when you update automatically it will give you a shaded uh, drawing let's put the dimensions the height here is how much this is should be the 15 okay I don't like it does it looks too small so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back and put the dimension again 
and it changed the, 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 the size of the font. So I prefer 1.75. It should look good. So I choose 1.75. If you want to make it 2, it's up to you. Uh, just play with the number so you can see how the dimension looks like. I believe this one looks much better. Okay, now it's still in inches. Don't forget. These dimensions are in millimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return back. Okay. Get the automatic a smart dimension. Make the, the size of the phone 1.75 and also the dimension should be in millimeter. So I'm going to use millimeter. Now I'm going to click on this one. As you can see, 15 millimeter. This one, 20 millimeter. The circle here, 50 millimeter, as you can see. And the other circle, 25 millimeter. This circle, the 30 millimeter, and the other circle here, inside the 15. And the, the distance, go to X dimension, the X horizontal vertical X dimension here, and say the distance between the circle to the other circle should be 120. That's good. Go to, again to this dimension X from the circle. To the edge to the middle of the, 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 the curve here and this should be the 20 and right click to get out and then again from the circle to the center of this curve here it should be 30 we'll try to make it balance I believe we put oh we still need to put the other dimension so I'm gonna go to X again the distance between the top and the bottom here this should be the extrusion, outside extrusion, which is 10. And let's get the inside extrusion. This one. Oops, sorry. Let me do it X again. The inside. Oops, sorry. Not, not this one. Right click. No. Okay. This line on the other dashed line. Here it is. Okay. So now this should be the 5. Okay. It seems we are done. The only thing left is to put the name of the or to put the, 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 the title of what lab is it. So I'm gonna go to let me get out of here. Move this one okay. See here annotation. In the area of annotation you'll see the text. So I'm gonna click on text and then I can start typing. What is the dimension here? Okay, 1.75. I can make it two if you want. Or tool move that's fine make it bold so I'm gonna type here lab five dash my last name is CIF and then I if you want to make a different color that's fine so now I click this way so I'm done here so I want to highlight it and then I can move it inside here so it has the name of the lab and your last name. So now I would like to save the file and save as. And this should be lab what? Lab number. Automatically it will come as a lab five. Save. So save. Yes. Okay. Now this will do it. And then once you save it. As you can see here, the date was corrected, and you, the name of the computer will be listed, and everything should be clean here. Okay, that's we'll do it, and we will do, and we'll see you again for the next lab. Bye bye.